but you shocked me for my birthday the last time you were on the show. Yes, I did, which I was shocked by its sheer magnitude. Most people who watch Cinderella movies think they are in love because of how bright Hollywood is. Still, two famous women came out and changed the way many people thought about love. A lot of people remember the love story between Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi. It was a big hit with LGBTQ people. But, there was a web of relationships that was both difficult and good, but mostly full of denial, going on beneath the humor and the glitz. It seemed like a fairy tale that was too good to be true started to fall apart piece by piece, revealing something shocking. When you read about Portia and Ellen's relationship and how it rose and fell, you should be ready for shocking facts, bleeding episodes, and the shocking reasons why they broke up. What was the problem that two of those stars solved? Let's make a circle with conflict, love, and closure at the end. The story of how Portia de Rossi and Ellen DeGeneres fell in love. There is no truth to any of these fairy tales, they are all clever lies that everyone knows. But the love story between Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi was always one that people were excited about. Early on, around the turn of the 21st century, they were meant to meet. This, of course, charmed many people and changed the way many people thought about love relationships, especially those in that group. Ellen was the first gay female stand-up comic in The First Lie, and Portia was an ambitious actress. These two women turned out to be two sides of the same coin. That being said, every fairy tale has problems along the way, and this couple was no different. As they worked hard at their jobs and kept up a public image, they were often called the perfect couple. This was because they were always laughing and hugging each other at red carpet premieres with lots of guests. Their wedding in 2008 was a turning point not only for them as a couple, but also for many people around the world who cared about politics. It's like everyone in this relationship carefully copied Esther Perel's writing style. The couple seemed to live happily ever after because they respected each other's feelings, shared their views, and wanted to make the world a better place. But we all know that fairy tales have their rough spots. Even the ones that don't seem to have any problems at first glance. Fear of fame and the need to feel good about oneself shattered what had been a perfect marriage. Portia suffered alone because she thought Ellen was better than her, and sometimes she was. Their busy schedules kept them from seeing each other enough, and the huge gap between their public selves and their perfect marriage became clear. The story of how Portia de Rossi and Ellen DeGeneres met begins at a talk at a Los Angeles social event in 2000. And this talk was about the entertainment business, but they were going in different directions. Ellen was already well known as a stand-up comic and talk show host at this point. Being out was risky for her, even in a straight-up field like TV. With Portia, on the other hand, she was still climbing the ranks and getting praise for her roles in TV shows like Ally McBeal. They would only meet for a short time, but neither of them would know that that short time would lead to a connection that they couldn't even begin to understand. They had to work together because they were so good at it. Another thing that held them together was a spark that Ellen was a part of. It was so deep that neither of them realized it, and Ellen was so interesting to Portia that she wanted to join that life, but she was afraid to. There were different levels of fear, so the character didn't want to be put down in public, and she also didn't want any of the arrogance she was trying to build to be ruined. While Fortitude fought her battle with patience, Portia stayed by her side and dug deep into the web of work and desire. For both women, that first work meeting was also the start of a relationship that would last for many years. In 2004, their lives crossed again, but this time it made them think more about other people. The women were neither married nor dating, and the desire that had been there was now very clear. Ellen, who was very proud of who she was, was the first to do something offensive when she took the lids off of the pot that Portia was making around herself to keep her safe. She is happy and safe with Ellen for the first time ever in her life. Something she didn't do very often before. This long-awaited meeting was the start of their love adventure, setting off a fire that would surprise them with its size and spread. In that way, their ability to connect came as a surprise. As you might expect, this helped make a love story that would move and impress many, attracted to each other. The conversation between Portia de Rossi and Ellen DeGeneres went from being unnoticed to being real and easy to see as the year came to a close in 2004. When they were at another social event, they seemed to be drawn to each other as their conversations got deeper and livelier. Ellen is so honest in how she dresses and acts, and she doesn't make it hard for people to say what they think. Ellen's confidence just shines off of her. Ellen, on the other hand, liked Portia because she was pretty and smart, which she liked in both her personal and professional life. The respect they had for each other turned into a positive desire that drew them closer together, making it possible for a deep bond to form. 
On top of that, Ellen was the first one to close the gap after they got back together. She wasn't afraid to show her heart. Portia was asked to look past those lines and see where lovers went. Portia felt both happy and scared at this very moment. Over the years, she lived in the dark because she didn't believe in God. She never thought that anyone would even tell her to be herself. These guards, which she had never shown anyone else, started to fall away when she thought about how Ellen could be held without getting hurt. It was the start of a new phase in their relationship, where they could go as far as they wanted to go without any problems. There were some problems in their growing relationship, especially for Portia, who hadn't come out as a woman. Being in Hollywood and afraid of what people would think was too much, but she couldn't ignore the bond she had with Ellen. Every time Ellen and Portia laughed, looked at each other too quickly to notice, or said something kind, it made Portia like Ellen more. It was almost like they were magnets that were meant to meet. As both women explored this new place, they had to face important ideas like love, acceptance, and finding oneself. They had to come out on top in the eyes of society. The media attention around them made it hard for them to date, and their love became public. A lot of people related to their love story, especially the LGBTQ group, which was lacking both hope and visibility. The audience also liked how realistically they showed their relationship by having Ellen constantly tell Portia she loves her and not teasingly wish she had a sexual partner but rather the best friend who would always be there for her. Along with their clear love and care for each other, they made a strong moral agreement. Taking into account all the problems and challenges that each of them was facing, every day the people were deeply involved in an interesting but letter-based love that changed things for the better. Public relationship Portia de Rossi and Ellen DeGeneres' relationship became public over time and soon it was all anyone could talk about. They started to do a lot of things together, like red carpet events and events for their business. People always saw them together, they were close, and people told the reporters how much they liked each other. One of the women is a famous talk show host, and the other is a talented and beautiful actress on the rise. How could people not love the friendship between these two beautiful women? Because they were well known, they were able to question and change the status quo, and this kind of love was seen as very brave by most people. Ellen and Portia liked each other more as their relationship got more complicated by their fame. Ellen came out as gay in the late 1990s and faced a lot of negative reactions. She was ready to be strong and spread the message of love and acceptance. They were interviewed together and talked about their love lives, making themselves look like people who many people look up to. When Ellen and Portia started going out together, Portia had just come out, which made her adore Ellen's bravery and happiness even more. For this reason, they also fought for LGBTQ rights together, using action to get past prejudices and wrong ideas. When the California Supreme Court decided in 2008 that the ban on same-sex marriage was unconstitutional, Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi made their long-term relationship official. Besides that, it was the couple's wedding, and a protest for love and fairness at the same time. Children laughing and having a good time, along with lots of love, filled the small meeting of close and loved ones. It was a great reminder of how far the LGBTQ community has come. What an idea! She instead came up with a complicated plan that included her proposal and everything she had stood for over the years when it came to love. Ellen engaged Portia in a very beautiful and lively setting their warm and welcoming Los Angeles home, where a family lives with strong, happy feelings. Ellen posed while putting on a three-carat pink diamond ring and spoke from the bottom of her heart, even though the writer was open and honest. The present day lean toward each other took decades of laughs, sadness, and happiness to be made. So much love was flowing through Portia that she gave a strong yes sealing their love with a promise that is both unique and deep. Celebrants and close family and friends were there when Ellen and Portia got married on August 16, 2008. It was a private event, but it's a day that brings back memories for many in the LGBTQ community. There were two dresses that Ellen wore on the wedding, a stylish white pants suit that fit her well, and a flowing dress that made her look like a beautiful and elegant Portia. The promises they made in their carefully written vows were not promises to love each other, support, and reassurance, but rather promises that had stood the test of life's many difficulties. With their love, Ellen and Portia showed that love doesn't just have rules. They encouraged many people to be true to themselves, even if it meant going through hard times. Early marriage joys when Portia de Rossi and Ellen DeGeneres first got married, they were happy in love and peaceful. As they became husband and wife, they became even closer. The little things in life made them happy. And even in their small house, they were usually laughing and feeling warm. Ellen was the funny one who always made things more fun, and Portia was the quiet one who made their exchanges so much fun. There were times when they cooked food, walked the dogs, or watched a movie together on the couch. 
They used everything to their advantage to get closer. Behind closed doors, the two were very happy, and they didn't shy to show their love for each other, like when they were guests on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. Many times, Ellen had to tell the crowd stories from their lives that included some of their funny but never too serious inside jokes. Hi, Portia. Someone who used to have a hard time dealing with her own bad body image was now able to shine with Ellen. They always helped each other, which was an important part of their relationship. They were both going through hard times in show business, but they were always there for each other. Many people thought their love story was like a fairy tale, and it made a lot of people want to be bold about their love. Ellen and Portia did more than just live together in the same house. They also did charitable things together that made their friendship stronger. They worked on issues that were important to them, like animal rights and rights for LGBTQ people. Along the way, they helped each other and reached some goals that made the world a better place. These kinds of projects brought them closer together and made them more determined to make the world a better place. Many people who followed Ellen and Portia's life found strength and motivation in their relationship because they both fought for love and equality. Even in the first few years after she married Ellen, Portia was still feeling like she wanted to try new things. The couple was very interested in discovering new things and going on trips to many interesting places around the world. Marios would live through the busiest times, from sandy warm beaches to busy cities full of life on every trip. They could always do things together to strengthen their bond and enjoy the amazing natural sights that were there. Afterward, these enjoyable trips brought them life and love, and they knew they could handle anything together. It was great at first for Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi, just like it is for every marriage. Still, after some time had passed, some discomfort started to show up. As early as 2013, there were a lot of rumors that the two were going to split up. People said it was because of the stress of Hollywood and how much people were interested in their lives. Ellen's job as a talk show host sometimes took priority over Portia's job search. Even though she had done many great things, she was mostly known as Ellen DeGeneres' wife. This made Portia feel inadequate and finally led to their divorce. The pressures and demands, both real and imagined, made her feel even less important, which made her upset as she sat next to Ellen, fully aware of how little she thought she was worth. This polarization emotionally separated Portia, and there were times when she felt like she couldn't control her withdrawal. This made a situation that neither of them could understand or fix. Also, Ellen was going through her own problems and issues because she was under a lot of pressure from being loved by many people. Even though she had a lot of work to do and her job was still growing, having to always pretend to be nice and friendly was hard on her. Ellen was more tired because of all the work she had to do as the show became more famous and she didn't get much, if any, time to meet her emotional needs as a wife. As a result, Portia, who had always supported Ellen's dreams, had less and less time to spend with friends and was exposed to more and more people. This made her angry and she let it out through fights. Not only were there problems within the couple, but their relationship was also under a lot of stress because of many things, including the start of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. Some of these other reasons were the stress of quarantine and the problems that came up after Ellen was accused of having a bad work environment. Even though Portia officially supported Ellen at this time, the bad press and the stress of being alone for a long time drove them apart at home. Couple got caught in a complicated web of feelings with a lot of stress, because Ellen's unfulfilled goals were very different from Portia's unmet needs. Both of them tried treatment to heal the rifts between them, but it was clear that the cracks that had started to show in their relationship were getting bigger and deeper, which meant that the foundations that their relationship was built on were beginning to fall apart. Feeling alone and stressed out. In later years, Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi's marriage was under even more mental stress, which made both of them feel farther away from each other. On the other hand, Ellen's work came first, leaving Portia to feel lonely and empty. Portia felt overlooked and shut down even when Ellen was out and about with her funny and friendly personality. To the world, the picture was worse because it showed two different stories. The pictures of the world showed jokes and smiles that were no longer there, but the truth was full of fights and pushed feelings. Portia slowly lost hope and began to feel like an outsider in Ellen's world because she didn't see many or any public displays of love. Ellen was also having a hard time, but she kept it to herself so she wouldn't show it to other people. Instead, she had to work. Ellen really wanted to reach out and touch the sky, but she couldn't because of the endless demands of show business and the wonderful people who came to see her. She was known as a kind and positive person, but this side of her could never show up in her home life, where a different, even meaner side of her was waiting. Because of this gap, she could never understand what Portia was going through because she was always having a hard time herself. Because they were always busy and social, 
along with the demands of their jobs, an emotional chasm formed between them. This made it hard for them to talk easily with each other, which made them feel even worse than before, but as they tried to work out their differences, the couple's relationship started to fall apart. Their everyday lives showed how stressed they were, and small disagreements were sure to turn into bigger fights. Portia had a crazy fantasy of a simple, calm time when relationships were based on love and feeling. But because Ellen was so busy, she couldn't make her fantasy come true. It became more and more clear to this pair how different their wants were, which made them angry and irritable all the time. Even though Portia often felt like she wasn't seen or appreciated, Ellen didn't fully understand how she felt. They believed that their love would always be enough to bridge any gaps. They tried again, but this time it didn't work out for them. The distance they had to deal with was one of the best things that kept them from getting back together. Rotating dates didn't help with Portia's feelings either, since Ellen ignored them like they were an addition to her already busy schedule. It also didn't help her partner, who often felt alone and unsupported. Both of them knew how important it was to communicate and tried to fix the problem themselves, but the problems were very difficult and built into them. On top of that, the health problem made it hard for them to stay at home with each other, even during the lockdown, which got in the way of their daily lives. Most of the time, spending more and more time together under the same roof made them feel too much, making them deal with the growing split in their marriage. There were claims of a toxic work environment behind the scenes of the Ellen DeGeneres show, with former workers speaking out against harassment, racism, and bullying, among other forms of abuse. The news was shocking because Ellen had been thought of as one of the nicest people in Hollywood for a long time. Dealing with the constant bad publicity stunt made her feel emotionally unstable. Even though the scandal caused a lot of trouble, Portia stuck by Ellen, standing up for her and protecting her image, even though it made things harder for Ellen at times. However, things were more complicated at home than that. It was hard for everyone, especially Portia, who had to deal with the mental stress of Ellen's affair and what happened afterward. It was a surprise when Portia said nothing. Because she wanted to help Ellen, she fought against her constant worry and negativity, the RV started to have its first problems, and the first fights started to happen. Tensions rose, and the scandal's unquenchable heat cast a cloud over their relationship. There were times when Portia felt disappointed, hurt, and angry, and she wanted to be loyal to Ellen, but this made things worse at home. Ellen was almost obsessed with her work, and she and Portia didn't have much emotional room for each other. Still taking care of her wife while Ellen had to put on a mask and work was still being done to clear her name made them grow apart even more making Portia feel even more alone and ignored. As they tried to deal with the emotional stupidity that followed the news, the exciting relationship they used to have was already a memory. Although they've had some good times and some bad times in their relationship, especially after the scandal, which shook them up completely. Why did they think about their relationship during this time? Let's look at it. Attempts to make peace. As the stress and emotions grew stronger, both Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi knew that something had to change. During these kinds of therapy meetings, both people could say what they thought and felt without fear of being judged. They were even able to talk about worries that had been buried for a long time. Problems came up during these classes, like the women fighting for their own place in the relationship, which made the participants nervous. Portia then said that Ellen's success made her feel alone and less important, while Ellen was scared that she wouldn't be the person she has been for a long time. It didn't take long for the couple to show signs of the deep wounds that were hurting them, as they both realized they had different emotional goals and paths. This was the hardest and most painful part of understanding because it made their differences okay and helped them stay alive. Ellen and Portia knew that spending time together would help them make their relationship stronger in a more loving and respectful way. They went on short trips during the day and hung out at home in the evenings, cooking, going for walks, or just enjoying the peace and quiet. The love and desire that had grown between them in the past came back through these little things. That's not all they worked on getting past their relationship problems too, and used some of the skills they learned in therapy to get through their feelings without hurting each other. They learned what it meant to be open and honest with each other through this new way of talking to each other, which gave them hope that they could get back together. Reconciliation did take a lot of time and work though. During these stages of getting back together, they realized that their relationship couldn't be fixed overnight. Instead, it was a process that would take work, time, and a lot of love for each other. We appreciate you spending time to follow Portia de Rossi and Ellen DeGeneres' love story. I hope you liked reading their story and that it moved or inspired you in some way. If so, click like on this post. Don't be afraid to share. Which part did you like most? Feel free to say something. Also, don't forget to click the bell icon to see more fun and useful material. 
Also, our next video is now playing on the screen. Thanks for seeing.